quick. Graph y equals 3 over x, which also could be written as 3 times 1 over x by hand, two different ways. This is part of the family of functions series. You will need graph paper or you can download this PDF and print it. Press pause as needed any time. The first way is with what we call the reciprocal dance. So we're going to identify the center point, which is normally the origin, and it remains at the origin at this one because the times 3 has no effect on that. So the center is going to be at 0, 0. Through the center, let's draw the asymptotes with dotted lines. So we need the x-axis and the y-axis, also unaffected by the 3. From the center, let's plot six key points. So normally we'd go right one up one, but we go right one up three because of the factor of three. Right two up three halves normally would be up right two up a half, but it's times three. And right a half up six. Left one down three left two down three halves, and left one half down six. Remember that the reciprocal of negative one half is negative two. Connect the points into two branches of a hyperbola. And then let's go ahead and compare that to the reciprocal function, the parent function in blue. Notice that the blue y values are tripled to get to the green. Not just these points, but all of the points. Second way is using a table. So here's our reciprocal table. And we're going to multiply each of those y coordinates by 3 because of that coefficient there. So a half times 3 is 3 halves, so we'll plot 2 comma 1 and a half. 1 times 3 is 3, 1 comma 3. A half time, I'm sorry, 2 times 3 is 6, so a half comma 6. And then going to the negative side, negative 2 times 3 is negative 6, so negative 1 half comma negative 6. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3, negative 1, negative 3. And then finally, negative 2 comma negative 1 and a half. Next, we draw the asymptotes as dotted lines. First, the x-axis, the line y equals 0, and the y-axis, the line x equals 0. Connect the points. We get the two branches of a hyperbola. And comparing that to the parent function, y equals 1 over x. Now you try one. Graph y equals 4 times 1 over x, which is usually be written as 4 over x. Use either method or both for the practice. Press pause to do this and then resume when you're finished to check your answer. And here's the graph here in green.